So with spring approaching, and of course evidently summer right behind it, uh, I thought I'd start looking at some cooling products. This is the Jizu Life portable fan, battery operated, um, really handy. I was able to stop by the Jizu Life booth at CES this year, and I really found this product pretty cool and pretty interesting. It's a nice little gadgety thing that uh, I thought was fun to play around with. And so I asked them, hey, you know, is there a way that I could do a video on it? And they happily sent me one of these guys to test out. And it is as fun testing it out in my own home than it was at CES. So today, we're gonna talk about this. This is the Jizu Life Ultra One, portable battery operated fan, cooling device, whatever you wanna say. We're gonna talk about this guy. Let's bring it in. Okay, so let's start first talk about the packaging. This is the box that it comes in. Uh, it is the Ultra One fan by Jizu Life. Now this is not their first fan that they've actually created. Um, so this isn't their first rodeo. They've, I think, taken a lot what they've learned from other ones and putting it into this one. Now this is the Ultra fan. So this is the one that has the big, uh, well, I guess the big capacity of putting out a lot of air. 75,000 um, uh, RPM fan on here that'll put up up to 19 meters per second in terms of fan speed. It's got a 9,000 milliamp hour battery in it. Um, now, it will only, it, it'll cool for like six and a half hours up to, depending on, of course, your fan speed and what you have this thing set to, but it puts out a lot of air and it tells you right on the face, not only the battery percentage, but there are 100 different speeds. It basically goes from a, from a zero technically, right? All the way to 100%. So it just tells you the speed and percentage. You can choose that with this nice little dial right here on the front. It works really, really well. We'll get to that in a second, but let's talk about other things that come with it, right? First, there is this guy here, which is essentially a base, has nice rubber feet to it, kind of gives it a little more stability. So if you have it set, but it does have a tripod adapter. So you can actually put this on a tripod if you really wanted to. Um, so if you were doing something specific, you put it on a tripod and aim it in a specific direction for you or what have you. Um, this is a great little thing to have camping with you as well, because you're going to be able to direct uh, uh, wind towards like a fire if you're, if you're starting a fire. There's a lot of uh, really cool features for this guy. And of course they do give you a couple different tips. So yes, you can use it just like this, but if you want to direct the, the uh, wind towards a nice focal point, they do give you this little cone that just kind of goes on with this nice rubber grommet real quick and easy. And then same thing with this con, or con, or, um, slit, I guess not conical, sorry, but slit face, uh, vertical or horizontal. You can put it on however you want. Uh, so there is that. Also with this guy, because it has a nice fine tip, you could even use this to help blow certain things up for uh, at least a certain amount, but there's not gonna be a ton of pressure like an air compressor would have, right? It's just gonna be a fan blowing air. It does have a USB-C port on the back, right back here for charging, and they do give you two cables, USB-C to USB-A, as well as USB-C to USB-C. And this does uh, have the capability of charging at the 18 watt, faster rate so you can charge this thing up in like two and a half hours from zero to a full so that's pretty nice also they do give you a nice little handheld leash that you can put on here as well um has the nice jesus life logos on it and of course uh it's right here on the back just like you would normally see on cameras and things like that quick and easy but that it comes with it and then one other thing that i did not expect other than does come with a storage bag right does come with a nice little felt storage bag but this is something that i didn't expect i didn't expect both charging cables but this little guy and i was like well look at that it actually comes with a cleaning brush uh, and so what happens is is if you're especially if you're outside you tend to I t you tend to get debris that kind of build up in these things and so they give you a nice little lightweight plastic cleaning brush that just makes it easier to clean the fan up to make sure that it's it's operational at its best capacity so that's that and then of course nice little owner's booklet that goes through everything but that aside, let's talk about the actual fan itself. And you can see I bumped the light. There are actually three different light features on this. Um, and so you can do it in just a blinking mode. On S right now it's doing SOS mode. Uh, and we can turn that off. Uh, if I turn the fan on, you'll see here in the front, front and I'm gonna turn this down so it's not, eh, it doesn't really matter. So you can see right now it's on one, speed one. And if I double click the power button, it's gonna give me the percentage of the battery. Right now it's at 53% battery because I've been using it, of course, testing this sucker out. And just by rolling this up, you can see how I can increase the speed. 
and I can increase it pretty fast if I jam it all the way up to 100%. But it, it is fine control. Uh, it doesn't go all the way to zero, technically. It just goes down to one, and one still puts out air. So it's not something that's at one speed, it's almost nothing. It, it still puts out a decent amount of air. So even if you ran this at 1%, um, you're getting a decent amount of air. Let's go back to the light back here. So this button right here gives you three light modes, so I can click it on, and it'll be kind of this uh, steady. Then I can click it again, and it'll do this pulsating light, where it'll just kind of pulsate. And then if I hit it a third time, that's when it goes into SOS mode. So you can actually use this out in the woods and, uh, you know, fly people down or whatever through a light. And then click it again, and it'll turn the light off completely. So you don't have to have the light on if you don't want to. If you're trying to conserve battery, of course, anything uh, that you're not doing is going to conserve something. But let's talk about the fan speed. Other than that, oh, I did want to bring up one thing since we're so close on the device. Like most devices, let me kick this off. Uh, and turn it on, turn it off is just holding the power button for three seconds. So you have a three, you have a power button, which even when it's off, if you double click the power button, it'll tell you the battery percentage uh, for a, a brief, you know, whatever, few seconds and then it'll go off. So you can always check the battery percentage. So you have the power button, that's double click or push and hold for three seconds to turn it on. You have the scroll wheel here to adjust your speed of the fan. And then you have your light button and your USB port. Like most electronic devices, when the end of life of this thing eventually does come, this has a built-in battery. They even thought of that because on the bottom, beneath this little guy right there, there's a screw. You remove that screw and then you can pop the battery out of this thing. So when it's time to decommission this and actually get rid of it, you can recycle the battery separate from the fan. That's always nice to see companies actually thinking ahead to make it easy. Also, I would think that if there is something going on with it, I wonder if you could reach out to the company and, and they could provide a new battery. I don't know that for sure, but that does, does tell me something. They're thinking beyond just the, the use of it. So I do like to see that. So let's get, uh, I guess, uh, showing what this thing can do with my hair. So, all right, so I have the fan and I'm gonna put it on level one. And so, you can see, even at level one, it's not going to be a crazy amount of air, right? But it is blowing air. It, no matter what, you're still seeing that it actually is blowing something. Um, let's just turn it up to, let's say 25. That's 25. Now you can see that we're getting a little more. We're getting more air. It, actually, that feels really good. Uh, 50. Let's go to 50. And that's 50 on the money. A little bit more air. You could use this as a hair dryer almost. It would take a while because it's not heated. Let's go to 75. That's 75. And it's doing pretty good. And then if I go to 100. It's lovely. And then push and hold and off she goes. Up to, to uh, six and a half hours of battery life I'm using on this. Of course, that's not going to be at 100%. But even at 1%, it's a nice, just cool breeze. So if I jam this thing on and put it at 1%, I mean, even if I hold this off like three, four feet, I can feel that. And actually, that's a, that's a comfortable thing that's not going to be annoying. Uh, this is, you know, jamming it up and it's like, oh my God, I need to cool down as fast as possible. That's great. But at that 1%, it's actually probably where I'm going to use this most of the time as just a cool, slight breeze uh, where you need it and when you need it most. That's pretty awesome. So I know what you're saying. Where can you get yourself one of these? Well, you can purchase direct from Jisoo Life or you can buy it through Amazon. I'm going to have links to both in the description right now. Uh, 86 bucks. However, on Amazon, they do have a $10 uh, coupon on it right now. I don't know how long that's going to last. I really don't. However, Head over to, to through the Amazon link down below and you'll see the coupon there and uh, it might change. It might decrease or increase over time. I don't know. I don't have control of that thing, but this is a neat device. And the neat thing about it is uh, if it's two needs, it's a personal fan. It's also one of those things that I've used this already, especially with this conical device uh, to blow dust off a fan. It's, it's kind of a combo personal fan as well as a, air duster. It does two things. It works very well. I love the screen. I love the ability to increase or decrease the, the speed at 
really fast to be honest. It doesn't take very much and you're, you're back at 100% or back down to 1%. You can control it very, very well. This is the best personal fan I've tried yet and I have two other ones. <laughs> Two other ones that I, I actually purchased myself and I have actually been meaning to show in this channel. I am going to do a video on those as well. But this is my my favorite one that I've used to date. And that's when I saw it at CES, I knew I really wanted to show this on my channel. And uh, I'm happy that I was able to do that. So check it out at the links below. Jesus Life, thank you for sending this over. This is one of those products that is just, it's one of those things that you'll show to people because it's it's really cool. But then once you use it actually out in the open, um, like especially like my other ones that I have, I used camping and starting a fire with it, it just is so much nicer. And so like uh, we had, uh, we were starting a fire with a lot of wet wood and it just kept dying down, kept dying down. And that's uh, when we actually got the small handheld fan out and man alive did it make it so much easier to get that thing going and then start drying out the other wood so we didn't have that uh, that problem over and over again. And that's just one of many, many things. Um, this is gonna help out, this, especially during the heat of the, the summer. So, Jesus Life, great job making the Ultra One. I really like it. I hope you guys like it. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you can for me on this video, and we'll come on back for uh, another future video review right here on Tech Gooch. Thanks a lot for stopping by. We'll see you soon.